What does it look like to be an engineering director? What are your responsibilities? A lot of times you're going to have people who are not there in those designated roles, but that almost leaves an opportunity for you to make that impact, right? for you to grow into that role. All right, so basically right now you're the Director of Engineering at Deliveroo. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us more about what's Deliveroo, what's your mission, guys? So we're a food company. Um, we want to become the definitive food company. And Deliveroo started about five years ago when an investment banker from New York who moved to London discovered that he couldn't order good quality food late at night as he was working. Um, he realized that like all he could really order were your like, you know, standard like shawarmas and kaw kebabs and stuff, but nothing like that you feel like, oh, this is great healthy food or this is like higher end food that I want to be eating right now uh, and so effectively that's kind of where the problem started and he just took it on personally to end up solving this problem for like others right because he's like if I'm facing it others are too facing it and he eventually he actually became our first writer so he was so close to the business that he started like he did deliveries for the first nine months and he still does that from like time to time uh, so it's, it's really nice to see like you know people really take this on as a personal mission um, Deliveroo is live in 13 different markets right now um, and we're growing so it's it's a very interesting space that we're in and a very exciting opportunity for us to become the definitive food company in the space you basically moved from from the bay area to london you changed the company why did you do that? What brought you this year? I've had um, the opportunity to be living in different countries and different continents like a lot through my life. So I was born in Pakistan. I grew up in Toronto. Then I moved to Seattle. Um, I've lived in and then I moved to California. And I kind of was at that phase in my life where I wanted to really experience Europe uh, because I hadn't gotten an opportunity to. I'd only visited London and I'd almost fell in love with the city. So yeah, I, I, I was at that phase where I was like, I want to try something new and I actually want to try something new in terms of a location as well. So I started looking for um, interesting opportunities in London um, and that's where Deliveroo came about. So it was a great perfect match. You are an adventurer. Mm -hmm. I like, I really like that. That's awesome. Now I would like to understand more your role. Like, mm -hmm. what does it look like to be an engineering director? What are your responsibilities and how does your day-to-day -day life looks like? I, I think the most fun part about my role is how much it actually changes um, on a day-to-day -day basis and my job isn't the same or it never really gets boring. So I started Deliveroo um, about 11 months ago and when I started the group that I had um, it was like a group of almost like 10, 12 engineers. Since then I've more than doubled the team that we have. So I manage multiple teams right now. Um, I have a couple of engineering managers that report directly to me and then I also have like some engineers who report directly to me. So it's a bit of a mix. Uh, I think I, one of the things that I am responsible for is really taking the restaurants group and taking it to the next level um, and figuring out how Deliveroo can become the best restaurant partners. Uh, and so it's about like building great products for our restaurants. It's about understanding the ecosystem. It's about finding out like what their problem is and how we can help them grow their own businesses and maintaining a high technical standard and reliability. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that, that's all important. Um, so how would you describe the engineering culture of the Libre I think uh, my first and like, our first and my most favorite value is like no one is someone else's problem. Uh, and it's very important to realize and appreciate that the situation that we're in and how like hyper, like in such, and the fact that we're in such a hyper growth mode is like, you know, a lot of times you're going to have people who are not there in those designated roles, but that almost leaves an opportunity for you to make that impact, right? For you to grow into that role uh, and so I think like one of the things I love telling people is like hey if you come to Deliveroo you better appreciate um, that fact that like things are not like things are going to change and things are going to change quite quickly because we're in a very very competitive space so basically adapt to changes yeah. and take ownership of your shit. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I think the other really great value is like how much collaboration we encourage and how much collaboration we have. Uh, and I think that is what actually allows people to come in day to day into work and feel like, yes, I can really do this. You mean collaboration across multiple teams? Uh, collaboration among the engineers, collaboration across like, you know, the tech discipline, a collaboration with the rest of the business. So it's collaboration all across the stack. For you, 
or, or maybe you, you can just reply for your team, but mm. what are the main technical challenges that Deliveroo is facing now? I think one of the core technical challenges is like, you know, how do you grow at the speed at which we're growing and still maintain um, the high technical standards, still maintain um, our services to like, you know, continue to be reliable and scalable. Uh, and again, like, you know, we moved, we grew really fast, we grew really rapidly. So it's also about like, how do you grow from like a monolith sort of uh, um, a like a code system to something that's a lot more like scalable in terms of like a microsystem, a microservices uh, system. For you, like in all these 11 months that you have been working, mm. what is the most cool or interesting projects for you or most important for your career? I think for me, one of the core important projects, and I wouldn't even call them like core technical projects, but it's more about um, making sure that like, you know, I'm able to grow my team, right? Like I feel like as an engineering director, um, more than like obviously making sure that like all the projects that we have, like they're on time and we're working on the right set of things. It's also about how do you continue and how do you keep up with the growth that's happening all across and support the rest of the business. Video, it's over, that's all. But you can still watch more videos. Maybe you can enjoy this video. Or maybe you can enjoy this video. Or maybe this one. Or you know what? Maybe you can watch all of them. And by the way, if you really enjoy the channel, subscribe right here. Just one click and you are